Greetings, I'm Chappers, and today I've been bestowed the grace upon me of having these wonderful people, Yuki and Alan, visit me from Vox. And today we're talking about the beautiful Vox Starstream. Why don't you tell me all about this wondrous new creation from Vox? Um, so it's a modeling guitar uh, we came up with, and uh, we uh, blended the idea with the uh, frame guitar. Uh -huh. So you have this core body with the um, ABS uh, frame. And you've got uh, multiple different sounds in there, like single chords, humbuckers, even acoustic guitars, nylon yeah. strings, guitars, <laughs> sitar, banjo, anything. You can yeah. come up with uh, stringed, basically. So when I was at the NAMM show um, back in January, I had the luxurious opportunity to play this guitar. And I must admit, and I'm sure you'll forgive me for saying this, I thought, well, that looks completely different. It's a bold move and a brave one from Vox. And it's got electronics built in and it's kind of medium priced. And I, can't, I was concerned and worried that it would be kind of gimmicky and it wouldn't yeah. be practical and it wouldn't sound good, I guess, is, is what I sort of, I prejudged. Yeah. And I'm guilty of prejudging because I'm a human being. <clears throat> and then they sent me one to try, this one, which is a prototype, um, but it's exact to the way it will be sold. Mm -hmm. And Alan was saying, you know, normally we put them through a PA or we put them through a really, you know, clean channel to get the sounds to be accurate. I don't have a PA here. So I've got a Coolidge Outlander, which is um, was beautifully made for me by a friend. Uh, it's just a plexi. It's just a really clean, mm. um, stonking handwire plexi. But it represents, for the viewer, uh, just a clean channel. It sounds absolutely incredible. And I eat every mental word I said to myself <laughs> at the NAMM show uh, and would wholeheartedly recommend that when you view this video, <clears throat> you throw aside any pre-judged conception before you actually try one, especially in the bucker mode with the drive switch enabled, because that is ridiculous. And the first thing I said to Yuki was, you're going to make a pedal based upon this sound. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. is great. Yeah. And we, we haven't really tried through an amp like this ourselves because we've only had the prototype for a little while. So I'm really impressed myself and surprised at how, yeah. how sort of warm and alive uh, the guitar is and, you know, compared to when we put it through the PA. The PA is great. And, and, you know, the thing is about the star streams that you can turn up at a gig and you don't need an amp necessarily. Um, you, you can put it yeah. straight into, <coughs> into the into the PA okay. system. Yeah, yeah, um, and that's got a lot of a lot of benefits. But hearing it through this uh, this this rig yeah. has, has, has um, changed my perception of what this what this guitar is all about. Yeah, so. it's about rock. Let me just give you really quickly a couple of tones. So at the moment, I'm just using like a like a dobro kind of acoustic. So you can go from useful acoustic sounds and then do really stupid things with them that you'd never normally do on an acoustic yeah. guitar. No. You know. Or you can take it to uh, stupid. So this sound is coming from the guitar itself. It's yeah. Built-in distortion, <coughs> not from the amp. Yeah. By the way, this amp is great. Uh, thank you. I'm thank you. Thank you. Thank yeah. Um, yeah. It's sick. I mean, I never would have thought that. I mean, it sounds. It just sounds great. Let me show you the neck pick. Middle position. 
Now, if you want to back it off and get more crunch, what you don't do is alter the volume knob because that just gives you, for example, I was saying to Yuki, if you're mm -hmm. in your kitchen jamming and your wife says, Rob, what about the, uh, and you go, sorry, what? You can keep talking while you're shredding it. <laughs> Which is really pleasing. What you do is you turn down the gain knob. See, probably you can probably tell now why I was surprised. It sounds really, really, really good and really natural. Thank you very much. And it mm. feels to me like I've just stepped on a sick kind of screamer type game pedal right. straight into the amp, but it's in the guitar. Yeah, yeah. So exactly. What was the kind of inspiration behind the design? Well, I think what were you thinking? Vox as a as a as a company <coughs> actually has always been really innovative. Back in the sixties, there was a load of guitars which were um, eccentric, you know, there was yeah. all sorts of crazy body shapes, you know, like spider bodies and um, even basic effects built into the guitars in those days. Right. Um, I've tried a few of them over the years and some of them weren't particularly great to play, but the, the, the thinking that those guys had was, was well ahead of the game. And I think this is kind of paying some homage to those days. In fact, Starstream was a guitar back in the 60s. Really? So we took so, the name uh, uh, from the yeah. original Starstream guitar, right. which, which doesn't look like this, but um, yeah. yeah, this is a tribute to the Starstream. Exactly, yeah. yeah. I'm, uh, I'm really enjoying the exhaust uh, on this airplane in the back. <laughs> also, what's kind of cool about that is it gives you a couple of different options for mm. strap practicality, sure. because um, I was working on a prototype guitar several years ago, and I actually started drilling holes all over the bum to try and find the perfect mm. place for it to hang. Because yeah. some people much prefer it to hang from here, yeah. so it doesn't flip, and some people prefer to have it higher and have it right. here, mm. and it sticks against the chest. So that's kind of an interesting thing, but also stylistically and visually, it's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the best uh, thing out of this uh, those uh, strap pins is that um, you can put it on the wall. Oh yeah, yeah this, <laughs> it doesn't fall over. Oh, yeah, it's got it's got yeah. legs. <laughs> Let's give them uh, a single coil type situation. Yeah. So basically, there's an on off button, just like on your Mac, if you got a good PC. And um, <laughs> just to start flame war in a conversation, because <laughs> why not? <it's> fun. <laughs> I'm going to tune it quickly.
can't do that with a normal guitar. No. no. <laughs> what, so here's some things I'd like if they could ever be altered over models over time. Right. You know what, I've, I, as a player, I thought was really cool? Would be if this would also be down here uh. on, on a control that I could change. Because what I found myself doing was in the, for example, the modern mode. <laughs> Bringing it in uh, mid okay. lick okay. for while effect. You, while you play? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I love this. Like, <clears throat> I don't know, there's a, a solo that Jimmy Andrews does in Purple Haze where he's panning left and right and back and forth mm -hmm. in the studio. And actually, the engineer is also um, swapping between various amplifiers with different kinds of valves and things. But he's altering the amount of gain back and forth right. with okay. things on the floor and stuff, and it sounds okay. sick. And I love that kind of, mm. and I love the fact that you can control the game and the volume of yeah. the game yeah. because yeah. it almost sounds like you're being panned. Yeah. Um. And I, I just, it's just a different thing that yeah. doesn't yeah. exist on the guitar. Yeah. So it's kind of, okay. kind of cool. Yeah. There are some other odd sounds in here, aren't there? There are. What are yes. the most odd? There's one here that says unique. Okay, uh, maybe you should yeah start from uh, unique. Start from sounds. unique. Yeah. So three different sounds in this uh, toggle switch. Uh, okay. This is not necessarily uh, pickup selector. Uh -huh. uh, this is um, you know choosing sounds from uh, three uh, options from the um, okay unique section from unique. Absolutely zero lag. No, that's a nice thing. And you were saying to me earlier that there's there's a difference in the way this operates to some of the competition. So this isn't sending a message to a program to say. No, to this is not like triggering uh, recorded presets or anything. Uh, this is uh, the sound is purely coming from those pickups, and uh, this uh, section is working like an effect pedal, uh, altering yeah. the sound from the pickup, not triggering. The yeah, sound. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so basically, it's like works. having an effects patio on the floor, but it's in your guitar instead. Yeah, yeah. So you've got a bit more freedom to run around the stage like a complete nutcase, which has happened. <laughs> <laughs> that might be 
pop some of the best playing I've ever done yeah. on one of the weirdest sounds I've ever used. <laughs> <laughs> So what you're hearing here is what you're hearing here. It's a demonstration of taking the information from the pickups rather than just replicating the mm. same sound mm. all over. So there's a lot more dynamic. Yeah. That's great. Uh, my favourite still is... It's absolutely yeah. triumphant. Yeah. I think they should make a V. <laughs> uh, play, maybe say in the comment section below what you think could be done with this. Anything innovative? Anything you'd like to see done with it? Any other shapes you'd like to see? Maybe a T-type or a kind of more of a, a Les Paul type? What do you think? Yes, we'd like <laughs> to know. We're interested. Yeah, It's it's amazing to know that um, this guitar, when, when Chappers plays this guitar, it's, it sounds like him. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> We, we never really uh, thought of um, uh, metal players whatsoever, I don't yeah. think, uh, but, but when you play this guitar, mm, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's works. proper. Mm, yeah. I, I think it's really cool. It's not the kind of thing I would ever have, ever have tried. Like if I'd seen it, I probably would not have immediately gone, I should definitely try that, I really will see yeah. it. But having tried it, if I had it in my studio, I'd definitely pick it up and play it all the time. Because it's one of those things, it's a creation engine. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's so, yeah. that's the whole point. Uh, you can't have twenty different guitars for a gig, you know. No. Nah. Well. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is um, you know uh, very convenient too mm. for um, uh, mm. picking up different sounds. Yeah. Within even within <clears throat> one song. And I guess this yeah. is quite sturdy, isn't it? Yeah. So these are made in Indonesia, and they look like they're made really well. And they retail for what? Five forty nine. This body is made of mango. So wow! Yeah, we we um, we experimented uh, some different tone mm. woods, and the mango actually sounded really well. So mango we did wood. wood. Okay. I've never heard of a guitar being made of mango wood. Mango. That's great. Impressed. Well, this has been really cool. Thank you very much for innovating and doing something that pleasure. probably not a lot of other guitar companies would ever have had the balls to do. <laughs> yeah. And um, well, that, that's really the the overall um, approach of this guitar is, is to start from scratch in a, in a way. Uh, balls as well, yeah. So uh, <laughs> you, ma you managed uh, to maintain that deadpan yeah. face so well, there. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, uh, it, it isn't something that, as you say, you're going to walk into a guitar store and think that's my first guitar, or you know, it, it's a a lot of people will consider choice. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. so sorry to interrupt you incredibly really. You can just plug a set of headphones in and shred. Yeah, exactly. You don't even need an amp. Yeah. So if you're in your bedroom, it's no brilliant for practicing. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> anyway, I've been Rob Chapman. I am Yuki from Vox Amplification. And I'm Alan from Vox Amplification. Take it easy, Thanks guys. Also great.